can we talk a little bit about Crystalia? Crystalia put up two crowd special reaction video type things which i wanted to talk about but i think i forgot to talk about when they first dropped the first one he did was this one called try harder and a lot of people were saying that this video was a diss at what's his face um starvey and i don't buy it i don't think so i think if anything this is crystalia's critique of the status of stand-up comedy at the moment especially on social media and it's him basically taking the piss out of it but it's also maybe him feeling a little bit annoyed that now that he's back in stand-up kind of after his little um diddling allegation period he's probably now pissed off that the game is probably a lot easier than what it was when he was popping he probably had to try way harder to be relevant or to get clicks or to get any emotion than nowadays so it's kind of like a little bit of like bitterness there that's what i got from it but i didn't get i didn't get it being a direct shot at starvey only but let's play the clip anyway and then you guys can let me know what you think do you think this is a direct shot at starvey and his crowd work stuff or do you think this is just a critique on stand-up comedy overall or is he just being a hater let me know what you guys think so many comedians do crowd work now they'll be like what, what, what was up what, what? you know what i mean someone will just be like oh, i got the clip and you watch the clip and the comedian's like what's your name you know <laughs> and the guy's like fucking terrence and then the comedian's like whoa we got we got a terrence over here whoa what are you to be fair though i know he's taking the piss and he's trying to be funny but he does the exact same thing and he's also corroborating my opinion. Do you remember I've said in the, be in the beginning of this streams, I said how much I hated crowd work. I think crowd work is in inherently lazy. And I also hate the dynamic of them like using you as like a punch of a laughing punching bag and shit. You know, it's like go on stage and tell some fucking jokes. Tell a funny story, but don't use me as a way for you to get cheap jokes at my expense as well because when, when it goes the other way around you see how these comedians are they don't like it so i hate crowd work personally but for some comedians it's like an easy thing to do because you know there's never ending material with a crowd but it's really hard to make up your own jokes are you from hustle and flow oh, oh, oh. this is the actor from hustle and flow yeah no and then they post it and... oh where do you work though where do you work oh fucking oh, yeah. Oh, 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 we got a guy who works on oh. nine million views on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you in a relationship or yeah, I'm married. Oh, oh, he's sad about it. Oh, <laughs> he's making a good point about how ridiculous most crowd work is. This is like a cash thing crowd work live, isn't it? Akash Singh, when he if he spots an Indian person in the crowd, you know what's about to go down. If he spots some Indian person, especially if that Indian person's with like a white person, you know what's about to go down in it. Some hacky, 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 interracial, religious Pakistani people be like, Indian people be like, he's just gonna go right into that. You know it, you know it, you know what Akash Singh's about to do. Oh. Okay, we're the single guys though. Oh! fucking 25 million views just hey what are you wearing what do you guys wear you know oh fucking tank top oh <laughs> we're seeing a play or something fucking wow that's funny 65 million views just fucking a whole state sold out just yeah he sold out wyoming he sold out wyoming hey yo super jello man shut the fuck up 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 super jello okay i'm allowed right to think the best of people i'm allowed to look at rogan's smooth shiny bald head and think to myself surely a man with a head that shiny and bald has to be funny right i'm allowed to think that i'm allowed to have hope i'm allowed to dream and look into those dark dreamy eyes of rogan's and think to myself if he's good at jujitsu if he can kick the fuck out of a heavy bag, he must be good at stand-up. I'm allowed to think that. <laughs> I'm allowed to believe that with no evidence. I'm allowed to just hope with no evidence that he's funny. With no evidence whatsoever, I'm allowed to just sit there. It's almost like, you remember on Christmas Day, 
when your parents told you to put a little cookie and a glass of milk on a windowsill. I'm allowed to do that. Yo, yo, big <laughs> Chris is way funnier than Kreischer, but his fake laugh is almost as bad as Bart's. <sighs> big up Boston Casey. His bad laugh is just as fake as Bart. I say the funniest thing he does, the, the annoying thing he does is something that he's doing now where you know he's got, he's confident now. He's got some money and he's like, he's got some attention and things are going well for him. He's doing that like, yeah, he's doing that like, um, it's a redacted, it's almost a redacted infantile voice. If you watch his early specials, he had this kind of tone that was like a, like a kid, like, I did. like he had this like thing, which he doesn't do anymore. I think since he got cancelled, he kind of stopped it and had his normal speaking voice, but now he's going back to it. I think that's his most annoying trait. The fake laugh, I don't really mind because he does it all the time anyway. I kind of zone it out. I think Burt's is definitely way more grating, but the thing I find annoying is that like voice, it's almost like a, a child a kid a child inflection like a like he's imitating his kid which i'm assuming he probably did that back in the day because it was a way to like get the attention of young girls maybe in it with that young with that like ugh. but anyway big up austin casey yeah when you think about that sort of shit it's like jesus christos um it's also it's also funny that he uploaded on tiktok in it it's also i just checked this now i just saw on the bottom it's a tiktok clip it's funny isn't it Crystalia is big on TikTok, a platform where it's mostly, you know, young underage girls and stuff, allegedly. But what do I know? Wyoming. What theater? Just Wyoming, dude. It was crazy. It was really vast. And... <laughs> so, would you guys meet, though? Would you two? You know? <laughs> you, you guys met? Oh, like, where'd you meet? Oh, oh, oh Tinder. Oh! Not the old fashioned way. Oh! Fucking 88 bajillion views. <laughs> like, 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 Oh, dude, sold out Canada. What theater? All of Canada. Oh, dude, uh, is anybody drunk in here? I feel like from this moment onwards, it's just pure rage. It's just pure unadulterated rage because of the position that he's in currently. Because he knows if he wouldn't have got cancelled, he'd be as big as anybody now if he wouldn't have got cancelled. The way his career was going, he would have been super huge. So it's just pure unadulterated rage that he's not where he thinks he should be and that he's now having to work with Brendan Schaub week in, week out. Oh, oh this guy's drunk. Oh, dude, can you tell? Oh, oh this guy's been drunk all day. Oh, fucking 12, 70 bajillion million quadrillion views you're right you sold out the galaxy yo big up david guerra why is he yelling at me you know now you say that i'm thinking to myself are there a lot of com is there because I'm, I'm i'm gonna start doing a lot more reactions of fucking specials in general i want to really start watching those in full for those of you that have way more knowledge of specials is this a normal thing do most comedians scream on stage or is this just a particular thing that LA types do? Because I feel like the screaming is like, it feels like it's a constant, like everyone does it. Everyone's like, got like a scream, like just like unnecessary. It's just like, bruh, you got a microphone. There's cam there's speakers all around this room. You're the only one with a mic. Just speak normally. You don't need to scream. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. Yeah, big up Coiler. For Chris, it's normal because he has no punchlines. But um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. Big up Super Jello. It's called laugh bullying. I love that. I love laugh bullying. Uh, big up Joe. Joe says, why are, why are we switching channels and not simply rebrand this one? Seems waste of subs. Yeah, but I think this channel also, you've, you've got a point there, Joe. Most likely it is a waste of subs. Most likely it is a mistake, but we have to make decisions here. I think this channel also has something. There's some sort of like, you know, don't want to say I've been fucking shadow banned, but maybe. So just a way just to kind of have a clean break, you know, have a clean break and maybe let this channel kind of reset itself. So the, the stuff I'll be posting on here will be just Taz stuff. And then a random show stuff would be just random show shit. So I think that split might help, you know? Um, 
I hope hope so anyway. I hope so. Who knows? But it's also good just to just to split it. Do you know what I mean? There's no need to have like two shows on one channel. It's just a bit confusing. So I'll just have it one on the other, one on this. It just makes it easy. You know what I mean? Um so let's see. Let's see where I go on. But they're not gonna keep a black man down, okay? They're not gonna keep a black man down. I'm an immigrant, bro. I came to this country on the back of a fucking washing machine. I came to this country on the back of a washing machine. My dad had one pee in his pocket. Okay? And look at me now. Okay? No one's gonna keep a black man down. <laughs> if I have to play the race card, I will. <laughs> Be warned. <laughs> Tried to get tickets, even Martians couldn't go. Whoa! They didn't even laugh, they just went, yah, 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 yah. The fucking biggest comedian, dude. He does crowd work. The fact that you're all laughing it makes me mad. Cause... Ugh, logos, logos focus. Thank you. Thank you. You put it better than I could ever put it. If crowd work is low hanging fruit, then what is raging about crowd work? You know what I'm talking about, and I don't want you to know what I'm talking about. Infinity views, dude. Did you see? He... <laughs> The, the clip, he asked the guy <laughs> what he does for a living and he's got infinity views. It, <laughs> my phone broke. I watched the video. The phone just went and it broke. And now he sold out the galaxy and another galaxy, dude. So many comedians do. So I didn't think that was a shot at Starvey. I thought that was more just crystally hating that he can't do crowd work. Or that he can't be as successful as the other comedians of doing crowd work. That's basically it. He's just hurting, you know, because he knows. He knows he's missing out on a bunch of money. He's not where he should be in his career, and he has to work with fucking Brendan Shaw every day. Yo, big up Uche in the chat. What's good? What's good, Queen? What's good, Queen? So yeah, Crystalia is out here complaining, crying, and shit. Well, there's another video Crystalia actually dropped. There's another Crystalia special that we want to check out here. More crowd work from Crystalia. This is fresh off the press, by the way. Fresh off the press from Crystalia's ins from Crystalia's Twitter account, not Instagram. Twitter account. More crowd work for your head top. Are you ready? Are you ready for more Crystalia crowd work? Let's see what you guys think about this particular one. I think it's called drug dealer or something. Yeah, confronting a drug dealer. Let's see what you guys think of this barnstormingly high quality comedy crowd work bit from chris what do you guys think about this what do you guys think about this let's freaking go you don't sell coke no <laughs> what do you do i'm a bud tender you're oh i'm sorry what I'm a, bud tender. <laughs> a bud tender oh that's fucking don't ever call it don't call it that <laughs> big up your the soundtrack to for this two hour drive yeah man it's the black man in the pedo you know what i mean we keep him we keep a new trade company the black man in the pedo keeping Uche company. You feel me? I'm playing the beats in the front. Crystal is diddling the girls at the back. It is what it is. Let's go. <laughs> I like drug dealer better. I like that. I fucking slang. <laughs> Yayo or whatever the fuck. Coke. I know it's Coke. No Coke. You don't sell Coke? No. <laughs> All right. So you sell so how can you going back to what logos focus said how can you release that video previously ragging on crowd work comedians and then put out this isn't that the same isn't the same content that you're taking a piss out of that you're doing now yourself isn't there a word for that isn't there a word for this type of thing when somebody complains about something but then does the same thing themselves there's a word for that isn't it a weed and that's it <laughs> ah. <laughs> police get her <laughs> I was like that meme, and I, oh. Bartend. You what? Bartend. Oh, you do all the tending. <laughs> Bud tending and bartending? Don't tell me you do chicken tending. <laughs> I'm a chicken tender. Yeah. <laughs> Life isn't fair, and Life isn't fair. This guy drives around in a G-Wagon. He has a docile, attractive wife. He has two kids, a big house, loads of trainers. And he stands on stage doing chicken tender jokes, chicken selects, chicken nuggets, tending. Like what? That's why stand-up is also hard to judge, isn't it? Like objectively stand-up. Because a lot of stand-up isn't really about the jokes. Like people are laughing not because of what he said, because of how he's saying it, right? His wacky face, his mannerisms, how goofy he's being. 
that's kind of where it comes from so it's almost that's why it makes it almost impossible to say if somebody's good or bad at stand-up it's whether or not you like them as a person i think that has a lot to do with like you know i think that helps do you like them as a person do you find them funny is it like is it like is it your type of humor because a lot of these guys is like how do you sell out arenas with this sort of stuff but then you're like okay i don't get it it's not for me it's not for me clearly but jesus christ the crowd is loving it the crowd is absolutely eating this up <laughs> yeah they're all in the back they're high as shit <laughs> let me go get one <laughs> the coke all over the beak All right, so you tend bar and you tend. <laughs> Too many jokes. <laughs> A gift from the heavens. <laughs> she tends bar and bud and weed and chicken and dick. You have blessed me. I am joke bot. I have <laughs> cannot compute too many answers. <laughs> Can you fix them? <laughs> I don't think so. He's so fucked up beyond belief. She said she tended bar and buddy and weed and don't say she said dick. Dick too, that's what made him short circuit. You tend dick, doesn't that mean you have dick? I'm a bartender. Yeah, I know you're a bartender. What's happened? So you, 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 you tend, what's with the dick thing? Not me. What do you mean not you? You're the only one talking. Who tends dick? <laughs> When's the last dick you tended? Two days ago, no. Can you fix them? <laughs> I just fixed them. I know, but she said she tended dick two days ago. <laughs> a jack of all trades. A jack off all trades, more like. If anybody wants. Who's more insufferable? Who do you want more? Who would you like to like? Who would you envision putting in front of a train? Just to look at it, the girl or Crystalia? Who would you like to take on a hike somewhere? And then as you stretch out your arms, accidentally push them over the ledge. Crystalia or the girl? Who would you like to play a game where you try and like get the knife and hit it apple above their head, but you accidentally slip and it goes straight through their head? Who would you do that to? The girl or Crystalia? Weed or beer or chicken or cock. That's for the noodle divorce. Did you say noodle divorce? <laughs> I think you've been doing some beer drinking. <laughs> noodle divorce. <laughs> That's like some fucking shitty show on NBC or some shit. Welcome to noodle divorce. This is an Asian couple in a fucking. Hey, we're noodle divorce. On after two and a half men. Fucking <laughs> Gus. You know when you're at a party and you're like, I, I, I fucking, I tried to leave an hour ago. <laughs> I fucking ran into Jake again. He fucking talked my ear off. That's you. You're Jake. I'm, I'm past, I'm kind of going past the stage of like asking questions aloud about the comedians and how they're famous and how they get to this sort of level because i feel like you know it's player hating you don't hate on the you know don't hate on the player hate on the game type of thing i'm now starting to wonder and question like i, I would love to do like a series or like something if i imagine i'd just love to like stand at some of these comedy clubs and just ask people as they leave like why do you find that guy funny like what was what was actually funny about what you saw there what was making you like cry why do you have like tears in your eyes right now? Why are you unable to walk because your ribs are hurting? I'd love to know that because the comedians, you know, it is what they're doing. Do what you do. But I'd love to know exactly the people in the crowd who are dying. Like what actually is the reason? 
what did you find so funny and why are you coming back again and again to see this person i'd love to know hmm because that was pretty terrible and the funny thing about crowd work is that i feel like crowd work is hard to do well anyway but it's also easy to do bad so it becomes like one of the worst or it becomes a very risky thing to do in terms of marketing yourself because if you get it wrong more than likely you're gonna burn everyone like if you saw that and you don't like it you're never gonna give crystal another chance but if you like it of course but if you don't you're never giving another chance you're gonna write him off completely because of how unfunny that was how aggressively unfunny it was but obviously it's easy to make right it's easier to do crowd work than it is to write your own material so i get why comedians do it but i just want to know why do people in a crowd are laughing like what can make that funny maybe i'm just redacted and i don't get it big up uche alcohol yeah i guess that helps alcohol probably helps probably um but i still think there's times where i've boozed and i've had a good time and sometimes it actually like makes you way more brutally honest so you don't just laugh at anything you're kind of questioning oh what that, that wasn't funny i don't know so, don't know some of you guys are the same but i don't you know i don't suddenly start laughing at things that aren't that funny you know <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm different maybe i'm just aggressively honest who knows or aggressively redacted am i right <laughs> anyways moving on moving fucking on because that that yeah that was that was confusingly bad isn't it wow he ragged on crowd work he made some kind of good points about crowd work and took the piss out of it only then to do another thing that's exactly like the thing that he took the piss out of if not worse okay cool anyway let's move on let's fucking move on 